All right, well, welcome to another episode of Under the Book Covers, where we, we put the ah uh, and awkward, and we also put the bay in library, because we always forget that there's an R after the B. Oh my gosh. And, <laughs> uh, we're coming in live from Building well, yeah, F. What? We are not live. We're recording. What? Nobody's watching us. Why are we even doing this on <laughs> I thought you told me this is a live stream. You lied to me. <laughs> Doing this just like to crush time. dreams. <laughs> yeah, and I am William Heinrich, whose dream has just been crushed. And I'm Anna Naman, the crusher of dreams. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we didn't think episode two was going to happen, but something, I don't know what, what sort of witchcraft happened because it's sp spooky month. October so the full moon happened yeah the full, the full moon happened the first one yeah the first one so we're we're in a good cycle right before <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this might be our month uh so I don't know what's what's happening what's going on in our library <laughs> well <laughs> um I know that star campus has three displays one is Halloween the second one is Election Day, and the third one is Breast Cancer Awareness. They always have pretty awesome displays, um, so if you haven't, you should check them out. I yeah. think we'll also have pictures. Yeah, they always somewhere. they always go all out. You're going to see them that way. Wait, no, there, that way, that way. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Video's mirrored. <laughs> um, right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they always go all out with their displays. Uh, Mid Valley sent me a couple of images of their current book displays. Uh, they always do a really great job as well. Uh, I'll tr I'll try and run down and get a couple of photos of the ones here at Pecan, and then they have some really cool books hanging on the ceiling. Some a big giant Lord of the Rings. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really cool. I like it, and I want to steal it. I know. <laughs> shotgun me first <laughs> um so what else is going on so at the Rekipsi campus they have added a reserved section for the cadets and fire academies there are new guides available for law enforcement and fire science and starting later this month they will be having small display of books that will happen monthly so for the uninitiated what does Rekipsi <laughs> stand for oh, oh my gosh i'm not ready for this on, Anna. <laughs> Why do you have to put me on the spot? Regional Center for Public Safety Excellence. There, that thank was you. from my mind, and I didn't look it up on Google. <laughs> you know, because we don't have a, a library website where you can go to and check out stuff like that. And it's uh, library.southtexascollege.edu slash hours contacts. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, when I said if we put the awe in awkward, I wasn't lying. <laughs> Did you like think of that last night and you're like, I'm gonna I do literally, this? I literally just thought it on the spot and now I am I'm I'm glad I'm leaving in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so I never have to do that again. <clears throat> oh. Well it's always on here. So. Yeah, it's always yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's on the internet forever now. Well, it's actually no, because we're we're recording this. We're not live streaming. I can edit this out. That's true. You and can it's edit. just gonna be it's just gonna be you just covering laughing, my face. covering your face for no reason whatsoever. Uh, so uh, we're thinking. Uh, I run a lot. I run our library's social media channels. Mm -hmm. and every week, I try and create a new meme, and I was thinking, you know, there's. There's a lot of people out there who are probably infinitely funnier than me. There are. <clears throat> but I was thinking, you know, why not why not reach out to y'all, the maybe one or two viewers, to submit your own memes about the library or anything about us. <clears throat> and if they're funny enough, good enough, tasteful enough, we'll post them. And, you know, we'll give you credit, obviously. And... We'll see. Maybe if your memes are good enough, I'll just stop making them entirely and just keep on, you can just keep on feeding me and I'll post them. 
Uh, so moving along, uh, the big thing we got coming up, we actually got two big, two big events, I guess, coming up. Uh, one of them is happening on October 21st, because I'm totally not trying to pull that out of thin air. Yes, October 21st. There we go. At Mid Valley Campus Library, we have our annual family reading night. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different this year. Uh, so instead of, you know, in the past, uh, people would gather inside the library, there'd be, you know, cakes and uh, two giant cakes, there'd be, you know, huge giveaways and uh, a bunch of cl clubs and departments would come and set up displays. Um, they're always really cool, uh, really nice. And it was really great to get the community uh, inside the library. We would usually, I don't remember last year's number at the top of my head, but I know it was more than like 500 people. Oh, wow. Coming in. And that's, that's usually that's usually the trend or what the, the numbers are on any given year. Uh, this year, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're still doing family reading night, but it's going to be more of like a, like a parade. And the South Texas Literacy Coalition is going to be doing like a, <clears throat> I guess they're still going to be doing like a book, book giveaway, but it's going to be, yeah, uh, just people, you know, driving by and they can receive uh, a book from them. Uh, I think we're going to be giving away some little goodie bags. Uh, I'm not too sure what else is going on because, uh, you know, we're still trying to, you know, not crowd people around, you know, the staff that are going to be doing this and we want to keep everyone safe. So with that being said, uh, if you do come over to this parade, uh, you are going to be, you are asked or required to wear face masks. Uh, all of our staff and the South Texas Literacy Coalition volunteers will be wearing masks. Uh, so we still want it to be a fun but safe event for everyone. And again, that's going to be Wednesday, October 21st from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Uh, over in the parking lot number four. So that's uh, the west on the, li side? the library's west side. Uh, it's by where the book drop is, and really there's there's really only one, it's the main entrance right now that people are using to get inside the library. And then, I don't know, what, what else we got, what else we got, Anna? Instead of following the yellow brick road, it would be following the cones. Yeah, follow the cone, <laughs> cone the cone road. Uh, so en enough for me, Anna, <clears throat> what, what do you got? coming up well we have two things right one happening on the 8th and then one happening on the 12th which is yours the 12th is your oh yeah I forgot little about that. <laughs> little baby that you've created <laughs> so what, what, what is that what is that child that I I totally know about all that number episode two <sighs> another number thing we, another thing we didn't know was going to happen we thought it was just going to be, you know, once, and then everyone was like, that's nice, never do it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but. but apparently it was received well enough. And so I, yeah, we already, we already did like our reveal stream with the volunteers and I already put that together. And so now I just got to do like some captions and other little things and it should be good to go by Monday. And then... Also on, uh, you know, this really would have helped if we did this, you know, uh, calendar order. We're doing it backwards. You started this, so. I, did, I know, I know. This is my <laughs> own fault. And it's, it's not like we have an outline or anything to, to follow. <laughs> What's an outline? <laughs> uh, so on Wednesday, wait, no, Thursday, Thursday, I'm reading the wrong, I'm reading the wrong blog post. Uh, Thursday, we have our next video in the Transforming Our World Through Poetry uh, event. It's, this one is going to be focusing on um, on a political theme and how, um, I guess, politics or the political culture and climate influence poetry. And then we're, all, we're going to be joined or leading the workshop is going to be uh, library specialist uh, Rick Wasalas. And then a librarian over from nursing, 
uh, the nursing campus, uh, Gabriel Aguilar. Uh, they'll be the ones heading this up. And then, yeah, they're going to be just talking about, um, you know, cr creating poetry with, you know, the political, I guess, essence in mind. Uh, I really don't know too much about what they're doing and what they haven't really, they're keeping their cards close to the chest on how they're going to do this. I, I do know. It's hip hop. Be, yeah. Okay. Because that's what it said on the flyer. <laughs> and uh, they're also going to be, you know, getting you, whoever joins up in the uh, workshop involved with creating uh, poetry on the fly. Because that's what people say. Creating flash or spontaneous poetry in response to a prompt. So, yes, yeah, so I guess how they're going to what happened with the last one is they kind of talked about what, you know, what like a haiku was, some examples, and then they gave you know, about five minutes of time for you to maybe make one uh, just right there spontaneously. And then if you wanted to, you could share it. And then uh, they invited everyone who was in that workshop to submit to our uh, upcoming post poetry anthology. And Anna, do you want to uh, talk about that a little bit? Like at least the rules so, and what's going on with that. Actually, you can also submit poetry for the political thing, um, theme, not thing, sorry. The submissions for that are open from October 8th to November the 5th. One yes. poetry submission per person per theme. Authors must be a minimum of age six to submit their work. Poetry submissions must relate to the given themes. Poetry submissions must not be previously published. All ages, no foul language, no graphic slash explicit depictions of violence or sex will be accepted. If you submit a poem, you and or your legal guardian agree to allow STC Library to include your work in the anthology and to make reproductions in part or in whole with author credit as needed for marketing and promotional activities related to the anthology without compensation. I'll just read the whole list while you're at it. Yes, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I thought that's what you wanted. <laughs> Must be typewritten. <laughs> 50 lines. 50 lines max. Uh, max. <laughs> for it, we'll, we'll accept the first 300 poems, uh, and then we'll go from there. I don't know how quickly we'll be able to put out this anthology. I just, I know we have one more uh, talk after this, or one more workshop after this on social issues, or the social Social theme. change. Yeah, social change. And then from there, uh, maybe by the end of the year, or maybe sometime early spring this anthology will be put together and published digitally. Um, but as you know, we, as we learn more, we'll inform you all of how that's going. Uh, so yeah, this was kind of a kind of a quick episode. I don't know what else we have that we can cover. Mm, Actually, the times, not, I guess, nursing. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I was, Given that you said Rick Hepsey is changing their hours, um, I believe uh, Nursing Campus and Star are slightly changing their hours. I know they were they were trying out being open on Saturdays. Uh, that hasn't really worked out as well as we thought, and so I believe we're going to be cutting those hours and kind of and pushing them back into the regular Monday through Friday. Um, what about uh, tech? Do we know if they're changing yet? We don't know yet, right? Not I, yet. I don't know about tech. I don't know if they were doing Saturdays. I don't, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Oh, I know. Look, we, we have a website we can check right now. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. It's at campus. No, they're What's not. What's our library that. website? Library.southtexascollege.edu. Okay. Go. Just for the viewers. Yeah. Go and ex explore our. Our newly redesigned homepage. We actually read. We actually redid the entire website over the past year. This, the uh, homepage was the last page that we 
finished uh, with the redesign. And so it's great, it's beautiful. It's, it was a lot of work and a lot of people were involved in uh, shaping it the way it, it was or it is now. Uh, so yeah, go check it out, it's awesome. And that's that's all I got. So I don't know if there's anything more you need to plug in, Anna. Uh, I don't think so. I guess we hope for an episode three. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can get another one while they're still <clears throat> before the next full moon. Well, <laughs> while no one's paying attention yet, we'll just sneak it in there. <laughs> I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. So then, I guess, shall we just send it off by awkwardly staring at the camera for a couple of seconds until one of us cracks? Of course. All right, go. I can't.